Hello and welcome friends of Fliff. In this video I will explain the gear system in Fliff Universe. We will have a look at the weapons, the sets and the jewelry and what to consider when combining them. I will not talk about all the classes and builds but use examples so you understand what possibilities there are. For detailed information on what gear to focus on for your class I highly recommend the videos from Mr. Rosa Pony. He's doing awesome and very detailed content on every class. I am sure you all heard the news that the Southeast Asian server will start on the 18th of May and the global server is expected shortly after. For all of you who want to wait for the global server but don't want to miss any information, I will do a 24 hour stream on my Twitch. Now let's get into the video. First we're going to take a look at the inventory and what your character is able to equip. You have 5 slots for jewelry, you can put on 2 rings, 2 earrings and a necklace. You have 4 slots for a helmet, a suit, gauntlets and boots. You can also wear a set consisting of these 4 parts to benefit from a set bonus but more on that later in this video. There are 2 slots for a weapon and a shield. For every class using 2 handed weapons like bows, staffs, sticks and all knight weapons both slots will be occupied. In the case of the blade that can put on 2 one handed weapons at once your second weapon will take the slot of the shield. You also have 4 slots for a fashion set that consists of the same parts as your gear set. Fashions don't grant any benefits except for cosmetic ones. There also are 2 slots for a cloak and a mask who can in some cases grant a small benefit like stats or HP. Rangers and all the assist classes have a slot to put in their arrows for the rangers auto attack or posters for the ringmasters and build posters skills. The slot at the bottom right corner is for your board, broom or whatever you want to use for flying. Now let's take a closer look at the jewelry. Unlike Fliff PC there won't be jewelry sets in the game. You can combine the jewelry freely as you want and not have to consider any set effects. Rings can give stats like strength, dexterity, stamina and intelligence. Earrings can give defense, additional damage and block rate. Necklaces grant either HP, MP or FP while boosting the respective recovery and reducing the consumption. One of the most important parts of the gear that you need to focus on in Fliff Universe are sets. Sets are the combination of matching helmets, suits, gauntlets and boots. When combined they grant a set bonus. You unlock a set bonus if you have at least two matching set parts. You only get the full set bonus when wearing the whole set. Sets appear every 15 level. So there are different sets for each class at level 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90 and 105. Another very important part of the gear are weapons. Weapons always grant a bonus and can be divided into categories of different rarity. There is common, uncommon, rare and unique. For this video we will focus on unique weapons since they are the ones every player should aim for and are the only ones that don't drop from normal monsters but from giants and some of them even from bosses. The unique weapons also appear every 15 level but starting at level 60. Now let's have a look on how to combine sets with weapons. After reaching level 105 you don't have to consider much really. You pick the weapon and the set with the best bonus for your chosen role. 105 sets and weapons come in two versions. One for tanking and one for damage. But below that it's not always the best choice to go for the highest gear you can wear at the moment. Let me show you at the example of a knight. The one on one knight at level 105 would wear the combination of the extra set and the legendary big sword because these items grant the best bonus for a high damage output. The AOE knight whatsoever would wear the naiad set with the legendary big axe to max out his health and defense to withstand a lot of enemies, giants and even bosses. But at level 90 the AOE knight would wear the Warpon set and the historic ambidextrous axe which are both items for level 75 but grant the best bonus for a knight at his level. The one on one knight is the one that wears the level 90 gear consisting of the Whis set and the angel sword to be possible to fulfill a damage dealing role. You have to compare sets and weapons and do the calculation from what combination your character benefits the most and what is the best fitting for your playstyle. We reach the end of this video. I hope you learned a thing or two and understood how important the combination of sets, weapons and jewelry is. If you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe for more Fliff Universe related content in the future.